Welcome to the Itch Network. We're doing a very special episode, a surprise review slash now spoiler review of Shazam. If you want to catch just a general review of the movie without any spoilers, uh, we'll link it in the com or in, not in the comments in the uh, info below the description, so you can see that. Um, generally, he liked it. Boom. <laughs> but if you want a couple more details, there you go. Uh, but we also wanted to share some spoilers because it's a fun comic book movie and they always have little tasty treats in them. So Ninja, without any further ado, what happened in Shazam? Shazam. Well, off the bat there, stay for, if, if Marvel and DC movies haven't trained us enough, stay for the two post credit scenes on there. Uh, Shazam is a great DC comic book movie where Billy Baxton, uh, 14-year-old streetwise foster kid that loves to play hooky, and he's trying to find his mother that, uh, spoiler alert, he thought that she just couldn't find him at this uh, carnival. Uh, she actually just left him. Oh, okay. She was scared. I think she was fairly an adult herself, 17, 18. And she saw the cops, and they taking care of him and said he'll have a better life she moved on he later then does find her uh it was very difficult because i think she changed she was using her maiden name uh looks like she's in this shitty apartment with an abusive boyfriend or husband and stuff about to go to like a waitress job or something so and she explains it to him he's pretty heart heartbroken but he gets some kind of uh, closure and goes back to his foster family that's actually really nice that he's been trying to uh, push away and keep at a distance. Uh, there's a lot of references to... It's very aware. There's literally the uh, one of the handicapped uh, kids have Batman's Batarang from the uh, current Batman iteration. Hmm. Uh there's references to Superman and every, everything else. They literally do like a montage of him testing his abilities, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, what are his abilities? What are there's? They try super fly. He struggles with that. It's like more of a super jump, and then he eventually does fly. Uh, lightning out of the hand, where he tries to recharge people's phones. He does it a little too much and blows up somebody's phone. <laughs> He's probably legally has to buy him a new one. Um, they test. He doesn't have invisibility. He's like super fast, super strong. He's all so the whole thing is he has all these mythological powers from Greek um, gods and stuff like that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's kind of encompasses that. And the villains are actually Mark Strong. They actually go into his body. These uh, representations of the seven deadly sins. So they go oh, with okay. him. Yeah. So it's like focused through his his uh his this eye this uh this orb that then transforms into an eye that gives him this cool, you know, bad guy scar. And, uh, basically when he just summons them up whenever he needs them, um, uh, to, like, he basically throws, he gets revenge on his unsupportive dad and his brother that was always, uh, being an asshole to him, too. So he throws him out the window. <laughs> um, he lets, I think, greed, oh, he lets greed kill his dad. Just leads him to that, so... He kind of just dispatch people as he as he uh, as he wants. So, see. but he's trying to kill Shazam. They the all the all the sins want him to kill Shazam as soon as possible before he gets he finds his for true potential because he's actually a lot stronger than Shazam in the beginning. I see. But Shazam doesn't even beat him until he unlocks the true power of what the wizard. Um, that gives him the power with the staff does um so basically the staff allows them to transfer whoever is the current shazam holder <laughs> of the power to anybody else and uh at the end he, he finds that out and the other foster kids hold the staff they all say shazam and they also get powers too and that's how they defeat mark strong's uh seven deadly sins powers I mean, I'm sure it's cool when you see it, but that kind of sounds. It's bad. very visual, yeah. It's a very. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of the usual comic book destruction of the city. 
That's I good. always I always wonder who's like who's making all the money repairing the city, and are those guys having to pay them overtime. And... <laughs> yeah, cost benefit analysis on superheroes would get kind of ugly, wouldn't it? Yeah, why don't they do like like those Dragon Ball Z episodes and just go fly away to like some abandoned place? Didn't they do that in Batman vs Superman? They went to a city. I think city he with... tried to. I think he tried to pull them away. He tried to get them away as much as he could from the city. But... <laughs> well, like in Batman vs Superman, they went to a place that specifically had no people in it. Mm. It's just like stupid, but I guess they kind of did that. <laughs> so that's good. Um, all right. Any other any major spoilers about uh, how this connects with the DC universe or anything with that? Well, I think you know uh, they do use. Um... Superman likeness, but it's not him. Is it Henry Cavill? Yeah. I mean, they use a lot of the intellectual property from uh, from DC. No, I hopefully, like you're saying, hopefully there's a sequel and uh, he fights Black Adam because I think it's a really good property. Maybe they can uh, keep going because I think that this and Wonder Woman are probably going to be the more successful ones. Aquaman was successful too, but it's just just all over the place that movie this is a lot more focused and uh, a lot of funnier does, i believe does this connect like are they part of what, what's the the justice league does this connect the with universe that at all? Mm, there's like mention upon it but i mean batman didn't show up and give a business card out or give him like <laughs> a, a membership card or something in the mail so <laughs> Maybe they're trying to wait and see how successful it is, and then it's they'll... thirty nine ninety nine a year <laughs> annually. Well, he's a fourteen year old kid. I don't know what he's gonna do to pay for that. So. Yeah, you know. So, so this is more of just like a fun movie where it doesn't necessarily have bigger implications for the. Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a, I think, yeah, it's a very standalone movie. You can watch this without giving a crap about the the rest of the um, DC universe. Okay. What are the what are the end credit scenes? Uh, one where uh, Superman and uh, I keep wanting to call him Captain Marvel because in the comics he's actually called that. But anyway, uh, Shazam shows up to one of the handicapped foster kids' uh, lunches uh, for him and uh, delivers on that promise because he kind of had a fight before and stood him up and then he got beat up by the two the two usual bullies in class in, in yeah. school, right? So. You're just uh, a weak yeah. kid. Yeah, I know. Right? You're not. You're not anything. I'm gonna beat you up, like that. Did I yeah, that like, right? like that. Uh, <laughs> the other one, man, I'm just going blank from it. From that one, they go home. They do their thing. Um, I guess the other ones are gonna get powers too. I don't know. I feel like it kind of ends up abruptly now that I think about it. But anyway, go see it so you can see that that last uh, that other post credit scene. Definitely recommend seeing it in theaters. Uh, it's great to hear everybody else laughing at some of the the key the key jokes. Uh, doesn't say it take itself too serious. So if you kind of like more, I like more of a comedy superhero movie. Like Ant Man's a heist movie, and there's some good comedy because uh, you have you have Rudd and you have Paul Rudd in it and. Uh, if I could go my whole life without seeing Paul Rudd in another movie, I'd be a happy man. <laughs> and then, uh, what's his name that does the comment? Like he does the uh, the voices or whatever. He's a really, really good actor. But yeah, it's it's good. Go see it. Good with kids. It's PG thirteen. I don't even remember any cuss words in it. Uh, there's one scene of drinking, and they didn't like it. So maybe that's even a message to not drink at an early age. <laughs> All right. There is some unhealthy food choices, though. There's a lot of energy drinks and beef jerky, so if you don't want to... Well, I don't want my kids seeing that, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, you liked it. If you want his actual, like, uh, number review, check out the review we've listed in the description below. As always, thank you, Ninja. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll see you guys later. See you at the movies. <laughs> <laughs>